to go from a relatively lean state to more of a ripped or shredded state. We're gonna do our best to actually show what your body is capable of over a two week period of time. And I'm gonna kind of be the guinea pig. I'm gonna be focusing on three main topics, nutrition, cardio, and weight training. In the nutrition aspect of it, we're gonna be focusing on high protein diets. So we're gonna be focusing on trying to get as much protein in our bodies as possible. We're gonna be cutting down on the amount of carbs and fats that we're putting in our body in relation to the, to the proteins that we're eating. Just because carbohydrate type foods and fatty foods are gonna carry more calories and what we're gonna be focusing on is putting our body into a caloric deficit. This is more of an experimental thing to see exactly what our body is capable of over a two week period of time. Like what is a realistic timeline for losing weight in our nutrition, just using nutrition without actually you know, starving ourselves or depleting most of our muscle that we've been working really hard to build up. My maintenance calories right now are sitting at about 2,800 calories based on the activity levels that I'm already doing. I'm going to subtract 300 calories from that and I'm gonna be eating about 2,500 calories now. And so we're gonna be in about 300 calorie deficit, which is ideal for long-term weight loss. And again, just because it's a two week period of time, doesn't mean that we're gonna to try to do this unsustainably because we are not trying to kill ourselves. We're trying to prove that it does not take that much of a change, but a consistent change to make a difference. The second part of this that we're gonna be focusing is on cardio. Doing a little bit of cardio is gonna help me go from that 2,800 calories to that 2,500 calories. And it also gives me a little bit of a buffer if I'm very inconsistent with my nutrition. In other words, I'm not tracking to the exact calorie the cardio is gonna give us a little bit of a buffer. So my main cardio that I'm gonna be doing, because I already do a little bit of running throughout the week, is I'm just going to incorporate a little bit of biking and I'm going to incorporate a little bit of walking. But in general, I'm going to try to target about two to 300 calories of extra cardio. The third thing that I'm gonna be doing during this time is I'm going to be weight training because we don't wanna lose muscle. The whole point is to lose fat and not muscle. So we're gonna actually continue to weight train. I'm gonna be sticking to the fundamental workouts. In other words, I'm gonna be sticking to some of the big movements for my lower body, such as leg press. We're gonna be doing some leg extensions. Some of the, the bigger muscle groups, we're gonna be working out our quads, our hamstrings and calves. And then on, on our back and chest days, we're gonna be focusing on big movements such as rows, uh, lateral pull downs, and press type movements, overhead press, chest press. And we're gonna be focusing on the big movements because we may not actually have a lot of energy to do a lot of volume style workouts. In other words, these huge workouts where you're doing five, six different exercises in the actual workout. We're gonna be focusing on three or four main movements so that we can focus hard on actually hitting our targets. Results for this two week shred, not a huge difference. I understand how silly it was from the beginning to try to you know, shed as much fat in a two week period of time for such a small reward. But that was the whole experiment, that was the whole idea. And so the results came in and you know I lost a few pounds and I lost about 1% body fat, which is not great, but this is the cool part. This was only two weeks and now my momentum for fat loss is starting to pick up. And so if you are looking for long-term fat loss, this technique that I employed over this two week period is absolutely can be used uh, for an extended period of time. It doesn't have to just be two weeks. It can be a month or three months or even a year, um, depending on how much weight you actually plan on losing. If you employ the tactics that I use, the methods that I use for 
just a very short two weeks and you try to employ those tactics over a longer period of time, you will see results. And not only will you see results, but you, you will see results in a sustainable way. You will see results in a way that um, is not gonna cut your energy levels off and it's gonna make it so that you can continue with that method um, indefinitely, or at least until you lose that, lose that target amount of fat that you're trying to lose. Most diets, they, they, don't, they don't focus on sustainability. They don't, it doesn't matter whether you are in a thousand calorie deficit over an extended period of time, the diet doesn't care. And so what those diets fail to recognize is that you are human and that you're going to have relapses, you're going to have these points where you've completely starved yourself and what it's going to happen is you're going to get to the point where um, your body starts craving things that are not as healthy for you. And so my method is pretty simple. It is um, eat in moderation and eat in a caloric deficit just enough that you're not having these ridiculous cravings. You're eating the foods that you love and you're seeing the results of the fat loss. So um, if this is something that you want to do for an extended period of time, drop a comment below and tell me about your results over a two week period of time because I'd be happy to hear what kind of uh, results or outcomes other people have because everybody's body's a little bit different. Um, everybody's outcome's going to be a little bit different. Anyways, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.